now we have seen what are the types of pain which all factors are going to affect pain management when we should prefer opioid treatment and what are the risk of opioid a part of the management plan the proper knowledge of treatment to the patient is also important patient should be aware of the risk and benefits of treatment plan it becomes more crucial if treatment plan has opioid clinicians should counsel patients every time an opioid analgesic is prescribed table 11 summarizes what clinicians should explain to patients or their caregivers while talking to patients explain the following points take the opioid as prescribed adhere to the dosing regimen use the least amount of medication necessary for the shortest period of time do not abruptly discontinue or reduce the dose taper safely to avoid withdrawal symptoms how to properly handle missed doses notify the clinician if pain is uncontrolled how to manage side effects inform the clinician of all medications being taken never share or sell opioids can lead to others deaths and is against the law use caution when operating heavy machinery and driving read the opioid drug package insert received from the pharmacy every time an opioid is dispensed clinicians should document what is taught to patients and others who will manage the medications at home if there are any questions encourage patients and or caregivers to call the clinician The patient counseling guide on opioid analgesics contains important safety information and is designed to facilitate discussions with your patients. Don't be sure to review the guide with the patient and or the patient's caregiver at the time of opioid prescribing. Don't a PDF of the patient counseling guide can be found in the additional resources section. Before starting an opioid trial Patients and caregivers should be educated on the potential says and aes. They need to be aware of the various says and aes that can occur with opioid use, their signs and symptoms, that any of these events could occur, and that opioid use could lead to death. Because it is crucial to the safe use of opioids, patients must understand the importance of taking their medication only as directed. Be sure to warn patients of the following under no circumstances should an oral opioid analgesic be broken chewed or crushed and patches should not be cut or torn before use because this may lead to rapid release of the opioid causing overdose and death when a patient is unable to swallow a capsule whole Prescribers should refer to the product labeling to determine if it is appropriate to sprinkle the contents of a capsule on applesauce or administer via a feeding tube. The use of other sedative hypnotics like benzodiazepines, anxiolytics, or illegal drugs with opioid analgesics can cause life-threatening respiratory depression. The use of alcohol with opioid analgesics may result in rapid release and absorption of a potentially fatal opioid dose known as dose dumping. Patients and caregivers should be counseled on the risk factors, signs, and symptoms of overdose and opioid induced respiratory depression. If not recognized immediately, Opioid induced respiratory depression may lead to respiratory arrest and death. An overdose plan which includes the use of in-home naloxone should be discussed with patients. Consider offering a naloxone prescription to all patients who are prescribed an opioid analgesic. Some states require co-prescribing. Naloxone also should be considered for patients rotating to a higher potency opioid history of non fatal overdose or substance use disorder taking high opioid dosages 50 mm per day taking concurrent benzodiazepine or other cns depressants coped or other respiratory problems sleep apnea a psychiatric diagnosis family friends partners 
and or caregivers should be trained in the proper administration of naloxone in the event of opioid-induced respiratory depression or overdose. Now the issue comes is safe storage and disposal of opioids. Patients and caregivers should be taught that safe storage and disposal are essential to protect family members and household visitors. Figure 14. It is important for patients to immediately reduce access to prescription medications in the home. Patients should always be in a position to know if any pills are missing by noting how many pills are in each prescription bottle or pill packet. Patients should keep track of refills for their own medication, as well as for other members of the household, since needing to refill medication more often than expected could indicate a problem. If a teenager in the household has been prescribed an opioid, the medication should be controlled and doses and refills monitored. Relatives and friends should be aware of the risks associated with the medications. Note. Disposing of unused opioids in the trash should be used as the last resort. Prescription medications are abused, especially by teenagers, because they are easily accessible and free or inexpensive. Prescriptions should be secured in the same way as other valuables in the home, egg, jewelry or cash. Prescription medications should not be stored in medicine cabinet. They should be hidden in place only known by the patient taking the prescribed medication. If possible, medications should be kept in a safe place, such as a locked cabinet that cannot be accessed by teenagers. Relatives, especially grandparents, and parents of a teenager's friends also should be encouraged to secure their medications. Expired or unused prescription medications should be safely disposed of to decrease the opportunity for others to abuse the medications. The medications package insert should be consulted to obtain the best disposal method. Medications should be discarded when others are not at home. Patients also should take an inventory of all of the prescription drugs in their home.